Hey, what's up, everyone? My name's Steve, and this is Count Bang, and we're going to continue with the reactions. Uh, I had my first ever music reaction yesterday, uh, reacting to the brand new track from Marilyn Manson, and it was uh, really, really good. And as a huge fan of Manson, I'm very happy to see that he's back in rare form. But as I mentioned during that reaction, the real true test... Well, it's going to be live stuff, and it's been very hard for me because of how much I love that track, and I have been listening to that track on a repeat, basically, uh, to uh, keep myself from checking out all of the live videos that have been popping up on YouTube uh, from his uh, comeback tour that started just a few days ago. Um, and so uh, from what my friends have been telling me, the footage from Fillmore and Silver Springs is better than the first show that he did because evidently the first show was outdoors uh in sweltering heat so i would rather see manson uh, i would rather evaluate uh his live uh the, the state of his health and everything having to do with live performances uh in a more comfortable air-conditioned setting the man's 50 fucking five years old okay so um that's what we're going to be doing today we're it's not going to be a very structured video we're just going to open the browser i have some tabs I already pulled up of some key performances and also a full performance video with uh, some um time stamps we're also going to do something a little interesting we're going to do vocal isolation uh using uh, artificial intelligence we're going to take a couple of these live performance videos extract the audio from them which i've already done by the way uh without like watching it you know i've tried my best to not watch it um so i just downloaded it uh, from youtube threw it into this uh the stem separator uh and we're gonna so he can actually turn up his voice you know and really listen um so i'm very excited uh if you don't know uh again my name is steve uh uh you know back in my younger years uh <laughs> A few years after he was in his heyday, I was uh, a musician, uh, primarily a frontman in uh, metal bands, uh, new metal bands. Uh, so I do have sort of a, a good perspective when it comes to this kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm in by no means uh, was ever famous or anything, but uh, we all do the same things. Okay, guys, so here we are. Uh, we This is the uh, Fillmore in uh silver spring it is from what i understand a pretty intimate arena it, well it's not really an arena it's a uh it's a live venue on a smaller scale uh, so that's even also even better to kind of you know evaluate manson because uh for people who don't know i mean you really are a lot more comfortable most most front men are much more comfortable uh in an intimate setting with their fans because they can feel more closely the energy from the fans and feed off of it so this is the the full set video and then i have a few tabs here of what is this this is uh, oh great big white world uh, we have coma white uh, and we have as sick as a secrets within which is his brand new song uh so let's go ahead and just let's, do it. let's get it started nice got fog By the way, uh, for the vocal isolation part we're going to do, it was really hard um, to find a good one for that. And so I did my best. But as you know, when you record um, these types of videos on your cell phone and you're in the crowd, uh, and, you know, the audience cheering and making noise counts as a voice. So when you're trying to separate out a singer, the, you know, the, art, the AI thinks that the whole crowd is a singer. So I did my best. But anyway, let's move forward. <laughs> Everyone looks stoked. Of course, 2024, everyone's got their fucking phones up in the air. I, I wish that wasn't a thing, man. I really do, but it's just the world we live in. We just have to accept that. I'm glad when I was performing, this was not a thing. People weren't holding up their Nokia flip phones in the air or their beepers. <laughs> Imagine that. That would have been funny. So everyone's waiting with bated breath for the god of goth to make his appearance. Ooh, also, we're going to 
uh, be able to see if uh, between the music video and this tour, if he's maintained the same slender, healthy look. You know, that's another thing to be looking for. When it comes to substance abuse, as soon as you go on tour, from day one, from the very first minute, uh, you are walking on fire, I mean, it is a death trap, uh, so, you know, you see how strong his sobriety truly is. Oh, by the way, before, you know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pause this really quick, I'm gonna talk really, just really quick, guys, and I promise I'll, I'll play it, just give me about 30 seconds, in the, in the last video, uh, in my first ever video yesterday, uh, I spoke about the fact that I wasn't too familiar with uh, his new band. Uh, and so it's important to touch on that really quick because we're going to be watching videos with them in it. Uh, and so I did do a little research. So it turns out Jill Sharon, uh, Gil Sharon, Sharon sorry, it, the drummer, uh, he used to be the drummer for Dillinger Escape Plan, a band that I'm familiar with, uh, Tyler Bates. Uh, Tyler Bates is the new lead guitarist uh, for... Uh, Marilyn Manson. This guy's interesting. Uh, it turns out that he is not only a musician, but a producer uh, and a film composer. Uh, this guy uh, did a lot of famous video game scores, but most notably, um, I mean, Dawn of the Dead, 300, uh, H Halloween 1 and 2, and the John Wick movies. Uh, he was both involved in producing and composing so that's fucking crazy. Um, but he's had a lot of collaborations over the years, Zack Snyder, Rob Zombie, uh, and, uh, you know, he's worked with James Gunn, uh, you know, who James Gunn, the, the big DC guy, and uh, now uh, rebooting DC. Um, and, of course, and now he's the lead guitarist of Marilyn Manson. Uh, but it turns out that he, this is not, he's not new to Marilyn Manson. I wasn't really aware of this. I'm kind of embarrassed uh, that I wasn't, but... He uh, was a producer on uh, Pale Emperor and Heaven Upside Down, uh, and he's also uh, he's also good friends with Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains, working as a touring and studio member. And then you have uh, Reba Myers, uh, she's the other guitarist, um, and she also does backing vocals for Manson. Uh, not much known about her, but uh, it seems like she's young and you know pretty early in her career. And I give him props for you know, not just automatically going to, like, famous fixtures. Because that's what he really used to do, you know. John 5, until John 5 beat his ass on stage. Um, but Reba Myers, she was in a band called Code Orange, which I have, I don't know who they are, but um, we'll see how she is. And then you have Piggy D, Piggy and the letter D. He's bassist now for Marilyn Manson and backing vocals, and he used to play bass for Rob Zombie. So pretty interesting. Let's go ahead. Let's get into this. Sorry for pausing again. I just wanted one more thing. Uh, if you like this video, please like uh, this video. Hit that like button. It really helps for you know cha early channels like mine to get growing. And also, hang in there. I'm going to get better camera, better lighting, and all kinds of shit to really go all out for this uh, channel, okay? I'm not used to being on camera. Remember, I've always done edits uh, behind the scenes. So I'm going to be adjusting gear-wise and everything for now being on camera. All right. Let's go ahead and fast forward this. Oh, no. mm, this ominous beginning. Can't see shit in a ba because everyone's phone's up in there. Can't fucking see shit. And the person with the camera is five foot tall. <laughs> Oh yeah, we have timestamps on this one. So a crucifixion in space is first. Nice. Turn this up just a little bit. One second, let me, let me uh, I need to add. Right. 
I don't know how to do it, so fuck it. Uh, we're done. I'm not going to fuck with this shit in the middle of the video. I can't hear the music through my headphones, only my own voice. I'll just do this. There we go. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> I had to pause and fix my audio stuff, so we're good to go now. Yeah. Oh shit, there he is. Still looking svelte, still looking healthy. He's got the trench coat. Wow. Listen to him. Holy fuck. What the fuck? Okay, I'm trying I'm listening very closely because right now the only the first thing that comes to my mind is is he using a fucking backing track and dude he is not using a backing track in fact uh the only thing he's using right now, as far as I can tell, is his usual rack effects, which uh, he usually uses some sort of a, uh, a thickening, like a, a widening effect and a little bit of uh, doubling, uh, subtle doubling, uh, which is something he's done for his entire career. So there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, he's always had the effects on. And let me tell you something. Uh, I think at the end of the video, we're going to look at it, just a few of his horrible performances uh, from when he was uh, spiraling, so you can see the difference. Um, I I can't believe what I'm listening to and watching right now. This is unfucking believable. I went to see Marilyn Manson in Chicago uh, in 2004. He is he's exactly like he was in 2004 when I went to see him. I mean he's. First of all, his posture's great. His diaphragm is open. His mouth is wide open when, he, when it needs to be on certain uh, words. And he's just practicing really good technique right now. And uh, this is something that he doesn't, hasn't given a shit about for at least 10 years. He hasn't fucking gave a shit. You can tell he cares right now. All right, let's keep going. I almost started crying. Oh my god! I'm sorry, guys. Look, I'm not a I'm not a Manson fanatic. I mean, I'm not like a super obsessed fan of Marilyn Manson. I'm a big fan of Marilyn Manson, but I'm not crazy. I don't know what happened just now. Something hit me, and I just started to get really emotional. It could be because I can relate to him. You know, I've had my own issues and come back many times uh, from shitty, shittiness. It's just to see him like this, it, it's not just what we see, it's what we hear. It's what we hear. The man is on top of his fucking game, dude. 
You know what? Let's go. Okay. Oh yeah, look, see, he's looking good. Wow, he's in great shape. Dude, he's fucking 55 years old, bro. Look, listen, let's let's see what timestamps we have. Angel of Scabbed Wings. Angel of Scabbed Wings. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah, you get it, girl! Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, dude. I can't wait to hear how he sounds on this one. It's one of my favorite songs ever by Marilyn Manson. Oh, he's loving it. Look, he's enjoying this. You, you can tell that he is having the time of his life. Like, he is loving this. I mean, that's another thing I noticed about Manson over the past many years, is that he just never seemed like he really gave a shit about what he was doing anymore. He didn't, didn't seem like he wanted to be there. He, he seems like he definitely wants to be here, and he, he's loving being here. Doesn't, he doesn't give a fuck that it's not a 60,000 sold out arena he is fucking just rocking out with his balls out right now all right there's I just saw tyler bates yeah Oh my god. He's got his he's got in-ear monitors and really good ones. Imagine being at this show and seeing how he looks and how he sounds and being so surprised. Like people who haven't been following this. You know what? One of the things I was concerned about was the fry screams. Like those really, the brutal high-pitched, high-end uh, screams that he used to do. Uh, in the music video for um, Only a Sick of the Secrets Within, uh, I've, some people, I've seen some people, uh, I've been watching other reactions, some people have been saying, oh, um, he can't scream anymore. Well, guess what? You're fucking wrong. You're wrong. That's the way he wanted that song to sound. You understand? Hey, and I'm not mad at you. Be and, you know, I might have even come to the same conclusion, but I withheld judgment until this. And I even said in my video, I said, you need to watch his tour because he's going to be singing songs from every one of his records. And let me tell you something. I haven't heard him scream like this so perfectly with such precision like this since Hollywood. Really, to be honest, I mean, as far as live goes, it's good. It's very good. Does he do reflecting God? No. That's all right, well.
He's very, dude. Yeah, he's very comfortable. Yeah, girl. Yeah. I like that little girl, man. Man, that bassist is getting it, man. Piggy D used to play for Rob Zombie. And like, he sounds so good. Dude, let me give you an image in your head, man. You're somebody who's a big Manson fan, but you just aren't the kind of person that's been following this shit on the internet. Like, you don't know what's going on, right? But you, you just happen to hear that Manson's coming to Silver Springs. So you're like, oh, that sounds cool. Let's just get a ticket because, uh, you know, it's a little venue. It's not going to be too expensive. That'll be fun on a Friday night or whenever, whatever day of the week. This was the third. So, you know, that'll be fun on a, uh, on a Saturday night, you know. We'll get shit face. Go watch Manson. You get there. You're sitting, standing in the crowd. This motherfucker comes out. And you instantly understand that buying that ticket was the best decision you ever fucking made. You're like, wow. So surprised and caught off guard, right? What else we got here? Uh, uh, let's do Great Big White World. Let's chance to check out his melodic stuff a little bit. I also want to say the his musicians are doing a great job, really good job. Uh, I would even venture to say that uh, that I mean, yeah, I'll just say it, man. And Tyler Bates, that Tyler Bates guy from uh, the producer of all those composers of those movies and stuff, could be might be better than John Five. <laughs> All right, this is going to be a real test right now to really hear what he has as far as, you know, the melodic chops hit those notes. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Listen to him. So fucking gone. I'm not attached. Dude, he sounds so good. Dude, I don't, I don't want this whole video just to be me sitting here having an orgasm, okay? We're going to do some other stuff here, but let's just listen to the white world for a little bit. Wow. One more thing really quick. Uh, I've observed something else that's important. He's comfortable, right? He's not labored, uh, whether you're talking about his air or uh, his, you know, his overall the way he's carrying himself. He's not tired, he's not exhausted, he's not uh, having trouble uh, catching his breath, he's not having to stop notes early to breathe. Uh, Manson, even back, in, dude, even back in like Antichrist Superstar days, right? I've seen documentaries, including uh, ones made by Manson himself, where he used to go backstage uh, several times during a set and get oxygen, okay? so. To see him breathing so well right now is very impressive. Wow. 
We used to love ourselves. We used to love one another. What, what happened? Tell me that that's not a relevant song for right now, 2024. All right, what else we got down here? Let's get through this. And don't get mad. Hey, hey man, I, we got timestamps, but we, we can't make this an hour-long video. So I'm not doing a live stream right now, right? I'm not on Twitch. I'm making a video for YouTube. So don't get mad if I skip your song. doesn't mean I don't like your song. Uh, the, I'm selecting songs based on vocal and, and vocal analysis and also to evaluate his uh, health, okay? That's the purpose of this video. So, you know, it's not really about, oh, let's listen to that song. It's so cool. You know, if I don't, if I don't think it's going to show us anything new, then why even click on it? Um, I do want to click on Tourniquet because it's a very, uh, that song in particular has a lot of ups and downs, the hills and valleys. And so let's check that out. Uh, the bass line in the song is very important and Piggy D is nailing that shit. There it goes. Listen to that. Thanks. Dude, I shit you not, man. That sounds like the fucking record. And that's not a backing track. I guarantee you. That sounds like the fucking record, man. Tell me that doesn't sound like the record. What, what am I supposed to say? Make a victim my head. You know, this is a very appropriate song for uh, the controversies that he's had to deal with the past few years, uh, you know. Take your hatred out of me, make your victim my head, because you know what? They have been making uh, their victim his head. Turns out it was all a lot to do about nothing. That's what makes it even more kind of enraging to me. Um, uh, yeah, he settled a lawsuit. People settle lawsuits all the time, especially celebrities. Uh, but, uh, you know, nothing was ever substantiated. And all of the, the stuff that would cause me to pause and me to be upset was never substantiated. And... Um, you know, so I think that we as uh, a people, we have to be uh, less prone to dogpiling and torchlighting you know, and marching on uh, a narrative that you haven't spent enough time critically thinking about and evaluating. You don't have to be a fence sitter, but be a critical thinker. Use that because let me tell you something. Manson uses that, uh, and look where he is. So try to use that as much as you can. Don't just, you know, jump on the bandwagons. He's not the only one. And Me Too, uh, Me Too had, I'm not saying Me Too was a bad movement, okay? Uh, I, I'm all about uh, changing the dynamic and, and kind of shifting opinion so that, uh, people who do these things are no longer protected but uh yeah and it had some positive outcomes some people some truly uh deviant uh you know perverts uh were uh right rightfully so caught up in that and uh had their careers ended and prosecuted which is what should happen but 
at the same time, a whole lot of people uh, were canceled for no reason. Uh, and who knows? No one even knows if what was true, what was not true. No one knows. It's just someone says something, and that's it. Twitter goes crazy. You're fucked, right? Mm -hmm. All right, he's huffing and puffing a little bit, but not too bad. He, he sounds great. Uh, signature Manson fucking spit loogie. Love it. There it is. <laughs> Dude, he sounds so good. Those are really good in-ear monitors. I've seen those before. Eh, okay. Okay, so I just want to I just want to point that out real quick. Okay, for P anyone who tries to claim he's singing to a fucking backing track, just listen to that one more time. Listen specifically to eggs. Flies lay their eggs. Listen to that part. Instead of last would lay there, you know, like it's it's not the right key. It, it, well, according to what we know about the song, right? If you ever listened to the tourniquet before, uh, it's not the right key. It's not off key. It still fits with the music, and it's fine. Uh, and it's certainly something that uh, you know, it's your song, and you can sing it however the fuck you want when you sing it live. It sounds still sounds great to me, but I'm just pointing it out because. Uh, it's, it's stuff like that that tells you that there's no backing track. Look at see how wide, see how open his mouth is, right? His mouth is wide open. He's he's practicing. Just textbook vocal techniques that you learn in vocal training, uh, which I'm sure he took uh, in his life. Uh, and but it's not about it's not about just saying, "Oh, look, you're using good vocal training." It's the whole idea that he cares enough to do it. Okay, I'm talking about a man that didn't care about anything. All right, he would uh, he would perform drunk as fuck. It, what doesn't matter, dude. Um, so when I, when I mention stuff like this, I'm not just mentioning it to just, well, I'm really not, don't even care about vocal technique. I don't really give a shit about it, to be honest with you. But, f uh, the only reason that I'm taking note of it is because of the other things that it means, which is that he, psychologically he cares about his performance. He's focused on his performance. He wants to sound good. It means something to him. Okay. That is a big fucking deal especially when you're talking about psychology and someone who's uh, has sobriety and is consciously making a, an effort to improve themselves. Yeah. Yeah, getting down with his fans right there, intimately. See if he does the guttural little deep growls for this part. Not this part, but in a little a bit. Are they doing the, is the bassist doing the, what they used, they used to do that with the keyboard. 
That used to be a keyboard. I don't think the bassist is doing it. Or maybe the guitar. modification how, what is he how does he feel right now how does he look The best live performance of Tourniquet I've ever seen him do. And that's not even a joke, and it's not even close. I saw, I've seen him perform Tourniquet uh, all the way back in the late 90s uh, in, in, a, in his uh, world tour uh, for Antichrist Superstar, uh, many, many shows during the Mechanical Animals era and Hollywood era, I saw him perform Tourniquet. And uh, that is by far the cleanest and the best uh, performance of Tourniquet I've ever seen him do. So um, I also notice that he's less animated than he used to be, which is really a good thing, and it's probably deliberate. Uh, you know, he's not uh, doing unnecessary acrobatics and <laughs> running around the stage. Uh, he is 55 years old, guys. It doesn't matter how young he looks, he's still 55 years old. And if he wants to be keep, you know, still be doing this when he's 65 years old, uh, there's things that you need to change about what you do during a tour that's going to be lasting months and months and months and months to your body. Uh, and so not only is, has he modified his vocal style slightly uh, in a more healthier way to protect his voice, for, to preserve for, for longevity, I think he's doing the same thing with his body. Just uh, imagine you're, when you're 55. I'm 40 years old, all right? I hope that you comment below that I look younger than 40. That would be nice. But I am 40, uh, and my body hurts, okay? I don't do much, and my body hurts. So um, 55 years old, uh, you're sober. You're definitely not going to be taking oxycodone tonight. Uh, try not to fucking, you know, just act like you're 20 years old again. All right. So I think we're good on this video for right now. Let's go ahead over to, uh, what do we got? We have, so we have Great Big White World, which we already listened to. But uh, the reason I have it pulled up in a tab is because I selected it for one of the songs we were going to do vocal isolation on. Uh, I think, yep, this is it right here. Uh, we're going to do two of these, though. So, um uh, this is the one I prepared ahead of time, though. We'll do the other one in real time. Uh, so what this does is uh, it, it just separates the vocals out from the music. Like, you know, here's the music and the vocals. Just the vocals. I mean, yeah, not perfect, right? Uh, and I think the other song will be a little bit better just based on the quality of the audio. But... It, you know, when you do this, you can um, really hear uh, much more accurately how on key he is. Dude, what do I say about this? <laughs> the 
dude, this man literally, the last time he ever did, he did, he did any live performance, okay, he went from a slobbering, stumbling mess of a fucking person who could barely get out a coherent line of lyrics to, uh, he's, it's like, did they clone Marilyn Manson, replace him <laughs> with like a better version of himself that's younger? I don't know. It's almost like he wasn't even this, he wasn't even this good uh, in his best time. I mean, I'm, dude, I, I've already told you I'm a fan of Marilyn Manson, but I'm not a dick writer, okay? And I'll call it like it is. I told you many times yesterday, and I've even, I think I mentioned it today, that he had a bad period, and he's had a lot of bad periods, and uh, he he has plenty to be criticized for, okay? Uh, it's his decision to get drunk and get high before he goes out and performs for people who pay money to see him. That's his fucking decision. That's not right. That can be criticized rightfully so. With, with you know, and you can criticize it and still love Marilyn Manson because you understand that it's substance abuse, right? It's, and it's a mental health issue as well. It's, you know, and you have to be a little empathetic, but, you know, you have to also make sure that you make it clear that he has to take responsibility for his own actions. And I'm just saying, hey, that's what he went from to this, which is almost perfect. Uh, anyway, let's go back to the browser. Uh, I, oh, sorry, I forgot to even show what I was doing th this whole time, which was uh, we had, uh, let's see, we had this. That's what I was doing. Let's just show you so, I could, so you can actually see it. So that's what I was doing. Uh, let's go back to the other browser window. <sighs> you know, I'm still new to OBS too, guys. So, All right, so we already heard White World, Great Big White World. We have Coma White at the Fillmore uh, from the same show we were watching, and we have um, As Secrets to Secrets Within, which is the new track. Let's check out Coma White. <laughs> He's got the hat and the coat. Whoa, now it really is a time machine. What the fuck? This is freaking me out, man. Something happened. This is crazy, dude. so good I can't hear the backing vocals though but which I think I think the ba the backing vocals are very important in Coma White so they gotta turn old boy up over here Wow. Dude. I swear.
swear to fucking God, bro. It's like... It, it's like it hasn't been a... You haven't been a decade and a half. It's like, but... Uh, is this a, a glitch in the Matrix that's happening? <laughs> is it? By the way, this is nicotine. This is not cannabis, so I know I'm sober right now, and I know what I'm seeing is what I'm seeing. I just want to make that clear. I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing. Today. All right, here we go, here we go. Here we go. All the drugs in this world won't save us from herself. Hey, Tyler, I'll just do them for you, the backing vocals. Make you numb because we can't hear you. I'll build and make it anybody else. Won't save us from us. Yeah, I love that girl. What's her name again? Reba Myers? Keep an eye on Reba Myers. The, you know what? Other than the fucking hand and finger tattoos, you wouldn't be able to know that this wasn't from, you know... I mean, let me think of the tour that this would be from. Um, what's the one that they had the, the if you bought the album, you bought the record, it came with the DVD. It was, uh, I mean, I'm trying to, I mean, I know what the record was. I'm trying to remember the name of the, the tour. Uh, but that's the one I'm thinking of. Um, yeah. I mean, you would know. You would say, oh, yeah, that's from then. Especially because it's shot on a not the best cell phone in the world. So, I mean, it could actually even pass for fuck. I mean, it's it looks like it's in, it's not even in 16 ninths. I don't know what why they were shooting it like this, whatever. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is uh, it's it could even pass for that era because of the aspect ratio that it's in. It's fucking uncanny. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let me make sure to actually switch it properly this time. All right, there we go. So now we got Coma White up in this motherfucker. I'm going to really listen to the vocals. Come on. Turn the music a little bit.
That's it, right? That's all he's got to do. He's doing what he has to do. It's amazing. I hope I don't cry again. <laughs> it's just so nice to see somebody just have, just come back so good. You don't see it that often, man. At his age, to be to to do this, I mean, you would you know most people. You're 55 years old, and you're snorting coke or shooting heroin, drinking a gallon of fucking whiskey every day. It, that's it. That's the rest of your life, especially when you're a a rock star with millions and millions and millions of dollars and no one ever telling you no or telling you what to do. So I think we all uh, need to really give it up for Marilyn Manson. If there's any way to, I mean, is he on Twitter, Instagram, you know, get the message to him that we all appreciate this and we, we're with him. We're with him on this journey. Um, so yeah, so that, yeah. Anyway, um, let's do a little recap. Let's talk about it. See you in one second. Okay, guys, this was a long video. I'm also working on trying, <laughs> until I get a better camera, which won't be long, uh, I'm using a webcam. It's like a Logitech webcam. It's not the best. It's also clipped to the top of my gigantic monitor. So uh, for me to look into the lens, I have to look, I don't know if you can tell, but I have to look up. Uh, so when I'm, you know, when I'm reacting to things on my monitor, it looks like, you know, like I, I'm looking down. It's, you know, not the best situation. So I apologize for that. But I am working on, during these moments, trying to maintain eye contact with you, the audience. So real quick, let's just talk about, let's just recap everything. The purpose of this video was to follow up yesterday's reaction of Manson's new song. I didn't expect it to be this long, but that's okay. Uh, I really don't care about, you know, like the YouTube algorithm and all that bullshit. I'm here to do one thing, and that is to confirm what I saw yesterday, and uh, absolutely 100% confirmed. All right, Marilyn Manson is back. He's sober. He's in great shape. His vocal ability has returned with a vengeance, uh, maybe even better than it ever was, because I, I believe, and this is only a theory of mine, just based on what I've seen today, that he, uh, as part of his um, preparation uh, for... Uh, touring again and the new record I think he has been in vocal training uh, and yes even at 55 years old even after th over 30 years of uh, already being a rock star touring around the world you can still go to vocal training uh, and I'm almost positive he did uh, because there's just so much deliberate uh, things on his part that tell me this uh, you know how he opens his mouth uh, the way that he fry screams now, which is much more technical and precise, and it sounds great. Um, the best performance I've ever seen of Tourniquet, ever. Uh, m the performance of Angel with Scab Wings, and probably in the top two or three I've ever seen that he's done. Uh, and uh, I am so fucking excited for Marilyn Manson. Uh, I... I haven't even had a chance to see when he's coming here. I live in Utah. I don't know if he's if it's if he's already been here. Man, uh, Manson tour dates. Uh, let's see. Um, damn. The closest he'll be to me is either Reno or Las Vegas. It's still possible I'll go. Uh, so, yeah, I might go to see Manson. Maybe I'll put that up on the channel. I don't know for sure. No promises. But uh, I'm very excited, uh, not just about the tour, but about the new record and uh, the new music videos. We, I love the music videos. That's, one of, that's my favorite thing about Marilyn Manson since I was a child because I'm very media-oriented, media uh, and I, lo like, I love art, and I love visuals and man this guy's had the best music videos ever of anybody in my opinion uh you know back in the day there's been some duds uh in recent years um as sick as the secrets within i think was a really good really good music video uh but i'm hoping to see some you know classic manson creative liberties happening 
and some of the other tracks, which we have know nothing about, by the way. We have no idea what the record will sound like. We don't know what the other tracks are going to be. Is the whole fucking record going to be about his sobriety and his his uh, reinvention or his rebirth? Or is only reserved for that one song and we're going to see a different theme? We don't know. But that's why I'm excited. Uh, so anyway, here's one thing I want to leave you guys with. What, what the fuck do I react to from here? I can't make this channel all about Marilyn Manson. Uh, and... Uh, as far as like giving you an idea of stuff, I mean, like I, I know about a lot of music, right? And you want me to react to stuff that I haven't seen before. So far, that's been the case because I haven't seen the, his new song and uh, the new live footage. But uh, as far as artists that I've never heard of or songs that I haven't heard yet of artists that I do know of, uh, we won't know until you start telling me. So uh, if you do leave a comment below, no matter what it's about, try to just at least... You don't even you don't even have to put effort in it. Just put something in there about what you want to see me react to, and I'll you know I'll do it. I'm your bitch, so use me. This has been Count Bang. I'll see you on the next reaction. Peace out.